Five billion people worldwide lack access to safe, timely, and affordable surgical care. Nine out of 10 people in low and middle income countries can't access even basic surgical services. According to the study conducted by Doctors Without Borders, in predominantly Muslim countries, men were 70% more likely to receive surgical care than women. That disparity often stems from cultures where women cannot be seen by another man, even a doctor. However, there are only around three female surgeons for every one million people in low-income countries. While women in developing countries have limited access to surgical care, many suffer disfiguring and disabling injuries and trauma, often the result of an assault or accident. Injured women are often viewed as a burden. This situation affects not just the women themselves, but also their children, their families, and their communities. All women deserve to live with dignity, despite the injuries and trauma suffered. Recognizing the need for reconstructive surgery women in developing countries face, a small team of female plastic surgeons from Germany and the US went on their first trip to the remote hospital in Northern India in 2007. Since its humble beginnings 16 years ago, Reconstructing Women International, as it's known today, has grown to include a network of female plastic surgeons from around the world who regularly dedicate their time to offer reconstructive surgery to rural women in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, East Africa, and Haiti. Dr. Tony Zong is an associate professor in the Department of Surgery at the University of Toronto and the inaugural Belinda Stronic Chair in Breast Cancer Reconstruction at University Health Network. She is also the Clinical and Research Director for the Breast Reconstruction Program at UHN and Mount Sinai Hospital, leading centers for advanced techniques in breast reconstruction in North America. Dr. Zong is one of the founding members and annually leads international surgical teams overseas. Last November, Dr. Pusick presented this opportunity for myself, as well as two of my colleagues from University Health Network, my physician assistant, Amanda Parada, as well as our OR nurse, Natasha Peters, to go to Dar es Salaam, the Aga Khan Hospital. The University of Toronto has been supporting global surgical initiatives since the early 20th century. Today, the Department of Surgery recognizes outreach initiatives that aim to improve healthcare outcomes in lower and middle income countries as a top priority. Dr. Zong and her team took a long trip to Tanzania to join the rest of the Reconstructing Women International Group. Dr. Tracy Thompson, nurse educator Natasha Peters, Dr. Lisa Frere, physician assistants Amanda Parada and Julie Weinberg, Drs. Andrea Pusick, Nicole Lindenblatt, and Kavita Ranganathan. The vast majority of our patients were women and children who were in accidental burns, mostly involving cooking and open fire. And the reason we focus on women and children is that we find in those parts of the world, men can access surgical care much more readily than women and children. Unfortunately, women don't tend to leave home to receive surgery because it takes days to travel to the bigger cities, leaving behind the children and leaving behind domestic responsibilities. We, we work with partnering organizations and we let the communities know well in advance that this group of women are coming from overseas and we're looking for children and women who may have had burns, older burns in the past, but as a result of that, they have limited function. It's about restoring function and restoring their quality of life. With burns being the predominant cause of injuries, a story of four-year-old Lucia Timoth is quite common. She was helping her mom cooking when her long dress caught on fire. She did not receive medical care for almost a year. So what happens with burns over time is that if it's deep enough and it's untreated, the burn scar gets thicker and thicker. As the child develops, the skin doesn't stretch. So instead of your arm being able to, of course, naturally come out from the side of your body, it becomes webbed and it becomes permanently stuck down by the side. And because you can't have the natural movement, she starts basically neglecting that part of the body. It's just, of course, using the other side. And because she's only four, we knew that we had the opportunity to be able to surgically release her arm from the side of her body so that eventually when she grows and develops, she can have better range of motion of her arm as a normal child would be able to do. 
a total of 20 patients received life-altering surgeries during Reconstructing Women International's Fall 2022 surgical outreach in Dar es Salaam. One third of the patients were children with burn scar contractures limiting their ability to function properly. The scope of surgeries performed included multiple major contracture releases for burn scars, breast reconstruction, and three breast reductions. The patients that we treat are often traveling for days and staying for days to weeks away from their homes in order to receive operation from us. Therefore, every dollar that we receive through fundraising and through donation goes to help our patients receive these surgeries that they need. Approximately half of the patients treated during Reconstructing Women International's Fall 2022 outreach in Tanzania were from rural regions. All were provided with free transportation and guest house accommodations for recovery after surgery. A large focus of this particular trip to Tanzania was imparting knowledge. We now know more and more that as important as it is to operate, it's equally, if not sometimes even more important to give the skills to the people that would be living there locally. And that is how you build sustainability. We operated on patients, but also we held didactic seminars. We gave grand rounds. We taught their general surgery residents, their surgical oncology fellows, the hands-on operative training. And then at the end, we had a city-wide grand round where we invited local, but also plastic surgeons from all over Tanzania. It was very well attended. We did problem solving rounds. We talked about current issues. It was a great educational experience all around. I think it's important to build relationships during the surgical outreach trips that we take. And it's not a one time. We build it over decades because it's based on trust. It's based on repeated educational opportunities. We go back because our goal is eventually the surgeons and the doctors in Dar es Salaam and in Aga Khan Hospital can provide the same level of care that we are able to when we go there. That is our long-term goal. Surgical outreach would not be possible without generous donation and funding from our sponsors. Dr. Zong and her team's Fall 2022 Surgical Outreach in Tanzania was made possible in part because of a generous help from her past patient, a young woman from Toronto and her family. They felt moved and inspired to help set up a global surgical outreach fund in order to help Dr. Zong and her team to go on these surgical educational outreach trips overseas. The nice thing about Reconstructed Women International is that we are a very hands-on, lean organization where every dollar that goes to our organization directly goes to patient care. Help to restore the life of an injured woman or girl by participating or donating today. Reconstructing Women International is thankful for every donation and for every helping hand that wants to join them on their mission of improving the quality of life for women and children around the world suffering from disfiguring and debilitating conditions.